Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at Rogue Honey Kolsch, originally known as Rogue Farms Honey Kolsch. I bought this at my therns. Well, it's $1.99 for the bottle. German style ale brewed with Rogue Farms Hop Yard Honey Alcohol 5% by volume. And I did some research on their website. Now here's a glass, a Rogue glass that was sent to me by Rogue. And they said I'm part of the Rogue Nation. They even gave me a card to prove it. I have a number. Uh, 5% alcohol, like I said, 26 international bitterness units. Dare and risk barley malts, wheat, dextra pi pills, and acidulated malts. They use two types of honeys. Oh boy. Always oh, sirens. US 51, intersection US 61, interstate 55, interstate 10, Louisiana Highway 44. It's expected, but it's not desired, these wrecks. 74 on Beer Advocate. So Beer Advocate is saying it's a 74 out of 100, 7.4 out of 10. Not that great. Rapier is saying, heck, it's a 56 out of 100. It's flat out bad. But in the style, it's a 93. <laughs> so it's a outstanding in the style but it's a style we hate generally is how that's looked at I guess okay um, so I want to thank Rogue for declaring me a citizen of the Rogue Nation giving me a Rogue identification card sending me a glass the beer they sent last year or year before last it was last year I think they even invited me to a pre-game party at Louisiana State University, but I didn't make it. I had to do something else. Now you say, well, as a citizen of the Rogue Nation, you're going to favor this beer and score it higher than you normally would. That is not necessarily true. Okay, I've never had this before. It used to be in a big old yellow bottle. I saw a lot of video reviews and I plan to watch them. So there's the honeybees. A lot of smoke, but it's not. It's being blown away by that slight little breeze. It's a little bit of thin, thin, thin sediment at the bottom. Now, one guy from Canada said last year he's going to send me some Sleeman honey lager. Still waiting on that. He, he insisted. I said, okay. Gave him the address. I said, well, I'm waiting on that honey yeah, honey lager. Yeah, I don't have the address. said, I uh, gave you the address and the message above. Oh, yeah. said, so, the honey ale, the honey lager, the Sleemans. Okay. Um, I don't seek out these, these uh, donations, but... Um, if somebody insists they send it and then they don't send it, it kind of gets a little irritating. Now that is very yellow. Gold with the sun shining at it and lemon yellow with the sun shining through it. Bubbly and hazy as heck with that. Yes, yeah, see I did the swish and pour and there's a cloud, uh, uh, a descending cloud. Well, kind of like staying put. No, it's starting to descend. Now we had a European, a Polish honey lager, my daughter and myself, and we really liked it. That is a stark white head, boy, I gotta say. Just the slightest little crick, crack, go here at 8.20 a.m. Honestly, I don't really like Kolsch beers. I, like the, I liked the German Kolsches, the Reisdorf Kolsch, and the Sunner Kolsch. Kolsch originating Cologne, Germany, Cologne, Germany, Cologne. But I mean, they're all right. 
they always have kind of that musty sourdough type thing this one has that not much of a honey aroma at all really I wouldn't have ever guessed honey if I hadn't been told yeah so it's kind of that sourdough lemony Kolsch type thing now you got to drink them to really appreciate what I'm saying about Kolsch okay if you just hear me describe it it's never gonna be adequate you got to try a few and you might really love them all right or you might be be like me and be like oh mm. but it's the style and I don't rate a beer bad because I don't particularly like the style within the style I'm gonna look at it that way but if I never had another Kolsch the rest of my life it would be too soon There's a faint honey flavor. They didn't overdo it. And I think they talked about it on the website. They don't make it too sweet. Just a little bit. Now, when I have hot tea, I like to put a lot of honey in it. Get it really sweet. <laughs> I don't usually buy honey. It's overpriced. Uh, my therns had some they got a hold of, and it was really cheap. So I bought four different, four bottles, and it was true honey. Somebody said, that's fake honey. That's the New World Order honey. That's not real. So where do you come about this information? No response. There's a little bitterness there. I can see the 26 IBUs. Sugary sweetness. Just think of like bready malts, the sourdough bread, that slight lemon thing. A touch of honey. So much sweeter than wine. Um, medium dry finish. I mean, 56 out of 100, get real. Even 70, what I say, 74, 76 out of 100 is too low. Yeah, 74. I mean, me personally, it's not too high because I don't like the style, like I said. If I had to rate squash, I would be rating them all low. I don't like squash. I don't like that. Okay. Or, you know, like eggplant. But some people love it. They just love it. They love it. Okay. Um, I notice these honey beers have like a little stinging at the end. It's strange. Honestly, and I try to be honest in a good amount of my videos. And I don't necessarily lie in these videos, but uh, <laughs> um, no, I'm, I'm honest in these videos. And I'm going to tell you something right now. I would rather have the Honey Brown Lager from Dundee. Yes, that's right. I'd rather have Dundee Honey Brown Lager from North American Breweries producers of Genesee in Rochester, New York. I just think it tastes nicer, man. It's way cheaper. I can get a big 24 ounce can for 99 cents. All I gotta do is drive to Chicago. Oh, well, I mean Ohio. And they might have it in Chicago too. Or I can get a six pack for $6.99. And all I gotta do is drive to Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I'll say it has some kind of weird tap water taste too now. Hey, if I pay $1.99 for a beer, I am not going to love it if it tastes like bitter, lemony, sourdough tap water, okay? But on the other hand, it's still not a 74. It's higher than that. Like, you know, if I, I used to grade papers and we used a high school grading scale and a 74 was like a, just a C, average. I mean, I think this is arguably good. It's like a B minus, okay? So it's a B minus. It's at the lower end of good. Now you might say, yeah, but you, you said Red's Apple Ale was a dang B minus. I know I'd rather have Red's Apple Ale than this. And I really wouldn't rather have either one, to tell you the truth. But that's, I don't like cultures. Okay, so, lazy. <laughs> These kind of beers are hard to rate. And when I bought it, I thought, I bet I'm not gonna like it. And I was right.
So Laissez Le Bon Temps Relay, an arguably good beer. You can make the argument that the beer is good. And I mean, rate beer is showing that because they're giving it a 93 out of 100 within the style. So there you go. And I'm going to end this review by saying, oh yeah, it's better than the Canoe Paddler. That Line and Kugel's Canoe Paddler Coach style. I did give that a C. C something, C minus, maybe C. Y'all come on down to Southeastern Louisiana.